Now, our qualification to see if our contest works is we're gonna ask each of our tasters whether they would buy this meal, this dish in a Chinese restaurant. Mm -hmm. And if more than half of them say yes across our three dishes, success! Cheese! Good evening, ladies. And for today's special soup is the Chinese traditional soup, hot and sour soup, but with a little bit of a taste. I'm sure you can see, but try it and let me know how it is. Karen, do you want to go first? Okay, well I must say I'm initially when I look at this soup, I am actually thinking French onion, right? Because we see the cheese. You got it! Sorry. <laughs> and we see the bread and it's very interesting that the pepper is on top of it. Whereas you know when you pop sour soup we used to think soup. So um, okay. Wow, this is a quite a quite a bus. cheesy obstacle yes. course. Yes, quite. Okay. Now, the cheese is Swiss. As you can see, the holes are no longer there. Because of the process, the holes disappear. And you can see, that is true. Now, I'm not a cheese expert. I think you're going to need a knife for this stuff. But uh, this, this soup definitely um, is, is something that... Okay. Go for it. So what's your initial reaction? Can you breathe? <laughs> it's very interesting. The, you can definitely taste the hot and sour soup here as well. I've had it many, many times before, so it's very familiar to me. However, the cheese is the taste that lasts beyond the hot and sour taste. Mm. It just kind of takes over your mouth right after you bite into it. In fact, I think it's actually a little bit um, potent for what I'm used to. It's definitely, um, definitely cheesy. And at the end of the day, um, would I actually characterize this as hot and sour or French onion? I would actually characterize this as French onion, um, just because of the very strong lingering cheese taste in your mouth. Interesting. Now, now, would you order this type of soup, let's say on a, on a Friday night mm -hmm. with your friends and you want to order something extravagant, would you, would you order this delicious concoction? Um, I think if I were with um, if I were with uh, my um, American friends, then I would actually consider ordering this. However, if I yes, if I were with my grandparents or my parents, uh, people who know very much um, the traditional taste of hot and sour soup, I um, I would stick with the traditional. For I think the the, the very potent um, cheese taste is, is a little bit overwhelming at the end. Mm. So, yes, that is very interesting. Now, what's your uh, initial reaction towards this delicious soup? First of all, I think the soup, when it's presented, it looks very pretty. Mm, very so pretty. So I think if I had guests or uh, friends to eat at a restaurant, this would be a kind of soup I would like to order. Mm. And as for the taste, um, don't forget the bread. The bread is, uh, I think, special. the soup with the cheese flavor so the soup is not as sour or spicy mm. as that much anymore so the taste becomes more mild mm. this might be more acceptable to uh, my uh, American friend have you uh, discovered cheese as a, something that you want to put in your Chinese dishes uh, not regularly because it's dairy kind of product some of the Americans, they, they're not used to eat dairy products. Mm. However, I think the bread goes very well with the soup. Mm. Um, more filling also. I see. So, I think, yeah, about the taste it tastes very good. Not as strong as the regular kind of spicy and sour soup. Mm -hmm. And the bread make it even more like the meal to me. Mm. I like it. Next, I'm a little scared, I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> is, this, is this queso? Yeah, but I've never seen queso like this before. Mm, yep. okay. In Chinese we call it cheese. Oh <laughs> uh, wait, 
maybe that's well i wanted to try the soup apart from it first just so i can get a feel for what it's like now what's your first impression when you when i saw it yeah it looks pretty it looks like french onion soup actually mm. but once you peel back that layer you notice chinese surprise <laughs> yeah 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 oh, Okay, it's not awful, but it's not good. Mm. The way that the flavors are working, the Swiss cheese is probably not the best cheese to use for this type of dish. I think mm. I would have tried a provolone because it's a little bit less intense. Now, what's the difference between the Swiss and, and the provolone? Because to me, you can't even you can barely you can barely taste um, provolone usually. And because you already have such powering flavors with the soup already, right? You want to pick one area to focus on. Mm. So for me, my mouth is kind of like in shock right now. In the Chinese and shock? No. No? no. Just the cheesy one? Yeah, the cheese. It's the cheese. The, they just don't seem like they're working together. They're, they're, they're fighting with each other right now. Mm. It's like yeah. the Americans versus the Chinese. <laughs> I hope not. Yeah. Peace, man. Yeah. Okay. I, I wouldn't order this after. You yeah, sorry. I see. But it was good at 10. As we've heard, I think the presentation for the hot and sour soup is definitely very appealing. However, once it enters your mouth, it's a party. And it's a party that we don't want to attend to. But we can we know that this is definitely something worth trying. Bon appetit. I mean, 吃饭了.